Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to get this extremely glam look. I've been dying to create a look like this. I incorporated a cut crease, a wing, glitter, pretty much did it all and I really love the way it turned out. I never really do looks like this that often, but I feel like it's appropriate for an event, a party, a night out where you can wear a lot of makeup and dress up and I really, really like the way it turned out. So I used the Violet Voss and Laura Lee palette. This is it right here. It's super cute. I love these shades and obviously I love Laura Lee. I love her channel. So if you guys like this look, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any videos from me. So be sure you hit the bell button and if you guys want to know how to get this look, then please continue on watching. All right, so I'm trying a new product today and this is a skincare product by Pixi. This is the Glow Tonic. I'm gonna apply this before I get into makeup. This is an exfoliating tonic, so basically it's like an exfoliating toner. And it says it brightens, exfoliates, and removes dead skin cells. I get a lot of questions about skincare and what I will tell you guys is that using a toner will really improve your skin. I used to have really bad acne when I was younger. I used to do this in the morning and at night. It really improved it and I stopped getting a lot of breakouts. I used to get really painful breakouts that would pretty much ruin my day. So as soon as I started improving my skincare is when I could actually really get into makeup. I know it's really hard to enjoy applying makeup when you have really painful breakouts. So what I will tell you guys is that invest in good skincare and it will really turn makeup around for you. I look a little bit paler, so I do feel like it did exfoliate my skin a little bit and I kind of feel how soft it is now. So I'm gonna keep trying this and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. But I'm gonna go in with the 24K Eye Elixir by Pixie. And I get pretty dry under eyes, so I always have to apply an eye cream before makeup, like no matter what. Now I'm gonna go in with another new product. This is a Pixie. Skin Treats Rose Oil Blend. And I'm gonna apply this all over my face. This is a rich source of botanical extract and vitamin E that helps protect, nourish, and strengthen the skin. It says you can use it in the morning and also at night and to massage two to three drops onto cleansed, toned skin. So we already toned, so now we can just apply this. I'm just gonna take about three drops onto my hands and just apply this to my skin kind of add back some hydration and this smells so good. And now quickly to finish off the skincare, I'm gonna go in with the Sugar Plum Fairy Lip Scrub by Lush. I like to mix this with about a drop of water and just apply it to the lips to exfoliate any dead skin. The really cool thing about this scrub is that it's made with natural ingredients, so if you do end up licking it, it's not gonna kill you. And now I just take a towel just to remove the excess. And lastly, just to hydrate the lips further, I'm gonna go back in with the rose oil. I know you've seen that on Instagram about 50,000 times. So for primer, I'm gonna use the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and I just kind of warm it up in my palms and just apply it to my face. All right, so for foundation, I'm gonna go in with something I've been obsessing over and this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. This is a water-based foundation, so it's good for dry skin, but it's also good for oily skin. It's not gonna break you out. Another great thing about this foundation is it's custom coverage, so depending on what kind of look you're going for, full or really sheer, you just apply less or more. And I just like to apply it to the back of my hand and I just go one by one when it comes to the drops because you really don't want to apply too much of it because it is a really beautiful formula and overdoing it kind of takes away from that. And the way that I like to apply it is with the beauty blender. So I'm just going to use a damp beauty sponge to apply this today. And as you can see, one drop just covered up all of my redness. And I think I might just do one more drop to finish off the rest of my face. So now for concealer, I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape in light, and I'm just applying this underneath my eyes. I do apply quite a bit of it because I'm in love with this concealer. And when I apply this under my eyes, I take the excess and I apply it to my forehead as well as kind of like the center of my face. And now to set under my eyes, I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm just using a damp beauty sponge to apply this underneath my eyes. And now to finish off setting my face, I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Hello Flawless Powder. And this is in the shade Petal. I'm just gonna apply this underneath the translucent. And this will kind of set my foundation, but it's a little bit darker than my skin tone. So it's also gonna bronze a little bit. So I'm trying a new brow pomade today, and this is by Ofra. This is in dark brown, and this looks really, really pigmented. So I'm just gonna use a little tiny bit, and then I'll see how that works. Oh yeah, this is really pigmented. You really don't need a lot. Wow, that was just a little bit got me this far. I would definitely say this is one of the most if not the most. Pigmented brow product I've ever used, so you really need to be really careful that you don't apply too much because that could make it go very wrong. But other than that, I really like it, especially for like full glam looks. This is really nice. I just like that it's not heavy, like it's very pigmented, but it's not cakey or thick. 
I find like with most dip brow pomades, they're super thick, but this one's very, very thin. It's very light. And now I'm just gonna go in and set these brows out using the Benefit Gimme Brow in Deep. All right, so I'm priming my lids first with the Urban Decay Eden Primer. I'm just applying this all over my lids and blending out with a brush. I purchased the Violet Voss and Laura Lee palette on the Violet Voss website with my own money, so this is not a sponsored video. This is my own thoughts and opinions when it comes to this palette. So first off, I'm going to go into Pris Pot, which is a really pretty transition color. It's very peachy and warm, and overall I felt it really blended into the lid very easily and very nicely. I think this transition is really pretty too. It's very neutral and it would look good with pretty much any eye look in my opinion, especially if you're going for something warm. I next went into Ragamuffin. This is more of an orangey shade. It's a little bit deeper and I think it's very pretty. It really pops over Pris Pot and it kind of gives a pop of color to any warm look. I picked up the shade Alabama, which is a really reddish brown and I popped this into the crease as well. And I'm basically just layering these colors on top of each other and so far they were really blending really nicely and I did like the outcome. I felt they were very blendable and just really nice layered on top of each other. I didn't have any issues with blending at all, which I think is a huge plus when it comes to this palette. I took the shade Bubs, which is a dark brown. It's the darkest brown in the palette and I placed this right into the crease. And I kind of exaggerated this a little bit because when it comes to cut creases, you really have to darken up the crease as much as you possibly can and really make this very seamless as well so I'm gonna be doing a lot of blending and a lot of layering so I went back in with the brush and just blended this out and I'm just gonna keep deepening up the crease until I get the look I'm going for next I applied the shape tape concealer by Tarte to my lid this is just gonna cut the lid so we can place the glitter on top next and this also creates the shape that you really want so I wanted a very big lid space I went with the Violet Voss Glitter Glue and I applied this to the lid just right over the concealer. And then I went in with the Holy Grail Glitter by Violet Voss and this is so pretty. It is so shimmery under the light and it's holographic as well. If you look at it, there's so many different shades of gold in it and I just think it's so pretty and I don't own anything like it. So I was very, very impressed by this glitter. I went in with Lou, which is a pure black. It's really nice for darkening up a look and I thought it applied really pigmented as well. And I just put this right into the crease and like I said, I always go back and forth with another brush just to blend out any dark shades. So I went in with something a little bit bigger and I kind of faded this upward to create a gradient effect, which is what I normally do when creating a cut crease. So next I went back in with a little bit more of the shade Bubs, which is the dark brown. And I faded this up again just to create a nice gradient effect. And I just kept on blending basically with the shades that I previously used. And next I'm going to go in with Basic, which is a white beige. Really nice for highlighting, so I placed this on the brow bone area. And I think it's very beautiful. It's just a nice matte shade. And I went in with a Kyliner by Kylie Cosmetics. This is just in black, and it layered really well over the glitter, and I didn't have any issues, which is kind of hard to find when it comes to a liquid liner or a gel liner. Over glitter, it's kind of tricky. I applied a black liner in the waterline, and I went over that with Lou, Bubs, and also Alabama, which was the reddish brown. Really beautiful, and I thought this looked really smoked out, which is what I was going for. I next wanted to highlight the inner tear duct, so I used my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and went over that with Sugar, which is a really very pretty shimmery inner tear duct area shade. It's definitely for highlighting and it really gives a pop, which is what I really wanted. So next I went in and created that inner tear duct using the shade Lou, which is the black, and I just kind of placed this right next to my tear duct, but a little bit lower and curved it down for a really dramatic effect. And I feel like you could wear this to a party, a night out, an event, something where you could wear very dramatic looks, and I really loved it. I applied this liner by Tarte, which is silver. It's a glitter liner, some mascara and lashes, and I'm using the Flutter Lashes Intoxicating, my favorites, and this was the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Alrighty, so now that we are in full drag, let's move on to the contouring. I'm gonna contour my nose using the Kevin Kwan Sculpting Powder in Light, and I'm just gonna quickly do that. And I like to go over it with a little bit of powder to blend everything. Also gonna take it on a small brush and I'm gonna apply it right by the front area of my ear. And I'm not gonna bring it down too far because this powder is super gray. I'm just gonna keep it right here and lightly, lightly bring it down slightly, but not very far. You just wanna keep it right in the central area and kind of lightly dust it down. And this really does look like a real 
shadow. I'm gonna go in with Park Avenue Princess by Tarte and I'm just gonna apply this around my face. And this is probably one of my favorite bronzers of all time. Actually, I've used it throughout this year and I've just loved it so much. I don't know how this has lasted me this long. I swear, I use this almost every day. And just to cut the jaw a little bit. For blush, I'm gonna use a nude blush and this is Risqué by Tarte. And I'm using this on a Morphe E4. I'm just gonna pack this right kind of on top of the bronzer. And I'm not gonna take this to the front area of my face, I'm just gonna concentrate it towards the back of my cheeks. I feel like when you apply it towards the back of your cheeks, it kind of sculpts your face. When you apply it to the front of your face, it kind of makes it a little bit rounder. For highlight, I'm gonna go in with Luster by Girlactic. And this is a really, really pretty highlight. It's very unique, I don't think I own anything like this. It has kind of like a pinkish undertone to it. And I like to take it on a fan brush and just lightly dust it over everything in this area. If you're wearing your hair up, you can go in a C shape around. It'll look really, really pretty when the light hits it. I'm also gonna apply it to my nose too. I just like to use a really small brush for this so that I don't mess up the contour. I was gonna do a dark lip, but I went really dramatic with this look. I wasn't expecting to go super dramatic, but I did. So I'm gonna pick out a lighter lip color really quickly. I'm gonna try Americano by Ofra Cosmetics. All right, PewDiePies, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, don't forget to let me know by thumbsing this video up, like it, comment down below what you thought of this look, subscribe, share with any friends, and don't forget to hit the bell button to turn on my notifications so you don't miss any of my videos in 2017. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.